Yo, YouTube, how to mod every single car in GTA 5 online. Working for every single console that exists for GTA 5. Yes, I said it. This is working for new gen and old gen, and this is working for PC as well. So that's for every console that exists for GTA 5. I'm your one Olaga Zone. Let's get right into it. Now, make sure you hit the like button on this so you will not miss out make sure you have the bell notification on so every time i upload a glitch you can get it first to your phone i know you want to be the first one to see it so you can get right on the new glitches that come out simple now the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in a public session or invite only make sure you have a friend with you ps4 ps5 we're going to be using anawak 1 for new gen or anawak 2 for old gen Xbox One old gen and Xbox Series new gen. I advise you to have two friends helping you when you're doing this. It'll be way easier and it'll be way faster. Simple. Now, at this moment, you're going to make your way into LS Car Meet. Pull out the car that you want to transfer mods from to other cars. Me, I'm in this car with Chameleon Paint unselected. Now, I'm going to tell my friend, come inside LS Car Meet, call out any car and just get in it. Once he get in it, he's going to pull up the interaction me, go to LS Car Meet, go to Sprint, and send me the race. Once he send me the race, I'm going to just pull up my phone and accept it. So that's exactly what you want to do. Tell your friend, we're both going to have a timer at the bottom right corner. Once it gets to two seconds, your friend is going to start spamming X or A immediately for about 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to be stuck on a black loading screen if everything is done correctly. From here, I'm on new gen PS5, so I'm going to look up Anawak 1 P5. PS4 is Anawak 2 P4. Xbox and PC, you need friends to help you for this part right here. Simple. Now, me, I just joined Anawak name, set all the alerts, spawn back down, took the easy way out. Once I took the easy way out, I'm going to spawn back just like this, and then I'm going to start up a job on the map, on the left side of the map, the capture job simple once i start it up i'm going to simply bag out of the job once i bag out i'm gonna spawn back just like this from here i'm going to make my way over to any apartment where i have cars that i want to mod so i want to create my own modded cars at this moment you can before you begin a glitch you can either purchase you some new cars off the website any car off the website put them in your garage and you can mod them or you can use some plain vehicles that you just been having in your garage. Me, I purchased some just for the video and I just made my way to any garage. You're going to do the same thing. Make your way to any garage. Go ahead and drive it out. Once you drive out the vehicle you want to mod, go ahead and register as a CEO and call up a buzzer. Once you get in a buzzer, once you see the propellers like moving on fast, you're going to just kill yourself on the little wings or the propellers, whatever you want to call them. You can go ahead and kill yourself. Once you kill yourself, you'll spawn back in the vehicle and it will be merged, as you can see right here. Now, I'm going to show you. I did this glitch and the vehicle was merged and I returned the vehicle. A lot of people been telling me, no lagging, you could just return the vehicle and it will be modded still when you get back in there. When I returned the vehicle, I went back inside and the vehicle was not merged no more. Simple. So to fix that, I'm going to just do it my way that I've been doing it. You want to pull out the vehicle. If that happened to you, you're going to get back in the vehicle that you just merged. Go ahead and pull it out. Once you pull it out, you're going to register as a CEO again. And you're going to kill yourself on the little wings. Once you kill yourself, just get in the buzzer and just press R2 or LT or RT or whatever it is on Xbox. Once you press it, you'll see the wings like, like you finna fly off. Once you're going super fast, just hurry up and get out and just kill yourself on the back of it. Simple. Once you kill yourself on the back of it, you'll spawn back in the car. Now, at this moment, I'm not going to return it. I'm going to take it to the LS Custom because when I returned it, it wasn't modded. So I'm going to take it to the LS Custom and change something on it. Once you change something on it, it's for sure modded and it's going to stick. It's going to save. Simple. I don't know a lot of videos floating around people returning those vehicles that video must be capped i'm not saying that a lot of youtubers is capped i'm just saying some of those videos is capped because i just want to try it just because like let me try it. let me return and see if, if if it's that easy and as you can see it it, it was not modded so 
if you want to do another vehicle once you change something on the first vehicle we're going to do the same thing we did when we came in here simple go to any garage at this moment you can go to any garage pull out the car you want to mod kill yourself through the buzzer once you kill yourself through the buzzer you're going to spawn back in the car and then take it to ls custom simple and easy now at this moment your friend is going to be inside of ls custom he's going to be flashing and once you do the glitch once he help you with the glitch he's going to be flashing then after about 15 seconds he's going to stop flashing and he's going to just have him in an ls car me just standing there with no mini map you could tell him to stand there until you're done modding cars you can mod back to back to back with this method and you can literally mod every single car in the game with this method that's why this method is dope the only thing is to have different modded paints on each car you just have to mod about three cars with the same paint and then do the glitch all over get glitched out again then mod about two three cars with that paint and then just keep doing a glitch switching up the paints simple as you can see right here i only modded three vehicles with the same um, chameleon paint unselected and then i stopped doing a glitch like i said your friend's gonna be in ls car me with just glitched out he can just stay there and don't have to do nothing until you're done once you're done you can tell him leave the lobby and y'all done simple this your boy no lack is on teaching you this glitch it is still working after the latest patch we on 1.60 now so simple make sure you drop a like so you won't miss out and make sure you have that bell notification on bro that is very important simple i'm your boy no lack of zone youtube just gave me a new feature called super thanks if y'all look under my channel bro it is a heart with a little dollar sign bro it say thanks y'all can donate to my videos now you can donate to this video if you like it simple i'm your boy no lack of zone and i'm gone